Well, I thought being a Catholic that I should vote yes, you know. At the start, I was going to vote no, but then I was speaking to this woman and she says, do you know what you're doing at all, you know? So I, then I changed my mind. I wouldn't have been as convinced when I was younger, you know. Maybe I would have thought at that time that maybe abortion could have been right in circum certain circumstances, but since then I've just... I'm completely anti-abortion now, you know. It went in, you know, in my favour, really, but I don't think it will stop people going to England to have abortions. I don't think anything will stop them. If, if I was that way inclined, if I wanted to have an abortion, nothing would stop me. Religion, nothing would stop me from going to England to have an abortion. That's the way I look at it. I just don't agree with it. Not knowing whether to go either or, I thought I would be on the safe side in voting yes. Oh, well, I pray a lot in that, but really, I really believe the baby needs to be protected, like, you know. I voted yes. And can you tell me why? Because I have a daughter. And I'd hate to think she could hop in here anywhere and have an abortion at any stage. Or... And I've had a baby after 12 years. That's another reason. That's the way, like, I was told abortion is wrong. That's my religion. But um, I think even if I wasn't a Christian, that I would have made the decision for the child. I should have a right to live. Well, I voted against the abortions. And why did you vote that way? Well, because I had a daughter myself, and if I had to happen during the time of the referendum, with the daughter expecting, you know, she, I had a good case on my hand. That was his third heart attack, and after his second heart attack, she just wanted a child, but we were engaged to be married a month after, so she had the baby. For if it had happened, even during the, ref, wherever you, the referendum, referendum, I'd have said no again. If she had have asked me for an abortion, if I'd have said to her, have an abortion, she'd have still say no. Now, that little child is what? Well, she's 14 months old now and she's walking. So that's the rain, you know. So um, I still say no to abortion. I wouldn't like to see my grandchildren go down the tube, number one. I believe in what I believe in, and that's it. Did you at any point waver in your decision? I mean, was no, there. A... Never. Never. What about the whole debate went on about both sides of the argument? Did you, did you listen well, much to the other side? Oh, I listened to a lot of them, and. Um, I know they confused an awful lot of people into voting no that meant to vote yes, but they had the wrong end of the stick when it was all over. Well, I think everybody has a right to life, you know. Mm hmm And did your religion enter into your thinking about well, it? I think so. In what you sort know, of way? To a point. Well, I think we're brought up in that atmosphere and that sphere to believe, you know, and I'm a nurse. I thought, you know, well, if this went through, well, the next thing might be euthanasia. I read a good bit about it, and I heard about it, and I heard the priest, whatever the priest said. I went by whatever the priest said, because I thought that he should be right. And he was, I'm sure. Well, I voted yes, to be honest with you now. I voted yes. But I had, uh, you know, qualms of conscience about it until the last minute, you know? So right through the, the debate, were you I considering was, voting no? I was, indeed, yes. Yes, I was. And then so much pressure. I would think it was from... Uh, well, I would say mostly from the churches and that, you know. And I began to think, was I, was I all wrong or were they all right? You know, that kind of a way, you know. And I said, well, I'll, I'll just vote yes. I'm sure what does my vote matter really in a way, you know, the way I felt about it.